Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Today, I will explain and show you one of the super functions. Microsoft Power Query's website is one of the good sources to obtain an understanding of the basic function. Let's copy the code from the example, go to Power Query Editor, and paste it to the formula bar. The function has three elements, list, seat, and accumulator. The list contains numbers from 1 to 5, the seat is 0 and is the starting point, and the function state plus current means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. The answer is 15. Let's update the code a little bit to visualize what the code is doing. The output is a sublist and a number 2. The number 2 is the last item on the list in the function. Preview the sublist, which contains numbers 0 and 1. 0 is the seed where the number 1 is the first item on the list in the function. Update the seed from 0 to 1, and preview the result the seed is now a 1. Change the accumulator function to state plus current, with the result of 4. The calculation is 1 plus 1 plus 2. You can replace the highlighted code in the function with two dots between numbers, which means from number 1 to number 2 in this case. You can also use alphabet in the list, change the seed to an empty list as the starting point, and update the accumulator function to state only. The result is an empty list. You can also see the state is the seed. Change the highlighted accumulator function to current, and we get the result of K. Update the highlighted accumulator function to state and current, with current in curly brackets. We get a list of alphabets from A to K as I explained earlier, state is an empty list in this case, and current is the items from the first element. Well explained Kitty. But how can we use it? Maybe you can show us some real examples. Let me show you a great example. The highlighted cells have spelling errors. I showed you how to deal with it with table.fuzzy in the previous video. In this example, I want to show you how to replace multiple values in one go with list.accumulate. Select the type column, go to the home tab and click on replace value find whatever value and replace it with whatever value. We will further modify the code later. Expand the advanced options, make sure you tick match entire cell contents and click OK to continue. For the time being. I have the correction table ready. The left column is the value to find whereas the right column is the replacement value. Go back to the main table. Type list.accumulate at the beginning of the formula. The existing function in the formula bar is the third element. The first element is the list. List? What list should I be using? The list is the list of row numbers in this case. We want to use the list.accumulate function to help us to find each value from the original column and replace it with the value in the correction column. Add the highlighted code for the first element. There are four rows, and we need to minus to get the correct number. The second element, seed is the table in this case. The table is our starting point to find and replace values. In the previous example, we use state and current. You can change it to anything that means to you. I am a lazy person, so I always use X and Y. The highlighted is state or X in this example. The value to find is the first column from the correction table. The row number is current or Y in this example. The replacement value is also from the correction table, the second column. Add a close parenthesis to finish the formula, and we are good. In short, the function will search through the main table for the four items in the correction table and replace them if those values are found. The list.accumulate function can do many things, such as finding and replacing values in a table or a list, adding multiple columns, and inserting multiple rows, tables or lists in one go. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.